So in this video, I'll be going over the costs and parts required that you'll need to modify your Evo 10 or Rally Art to make the 300 wheel horsepower range, 350, 400, all the way up to the 450 plus horsepower range while keeping it reliable. All right guys, well welcome back to the channel. So firstly, before we get into the topic of the video, I just wanna say I have three quick disclaimers. So first one is that this is all in Australian dollars. So I'm gonna, every part that I talk about, I'm gonna have linked down in the description. And the prices that I'm talking about are going to be based off those parts and using Australian dollars. This is all brand new parts. I will try and give a rough idea of how much it'll cost for some of these parts to buy used, which is definitely a great option to do, which is how I definitely built my car from the start with a lot of used parts that I could find. Uh, second thing is that this is based off Australian horsepower or kilowatts. So if you're in the US or another country, kind of the way to look at it would be to, like a low reading Mustang dyno is the way our dynos seem to read. Um, so if you add the 12 to 15% for dyno jet figures, that will roughly get to you to about where you would expect these figures to be. And the last thing is that this is all based off the SST transmission. So an Evo 10 MR or a Rally Art with the SST if you have a manual, then you could easily add around 20 horsepower, 20 wheel horsepower to each one of these figures as the SST does rob a little bit of horsepower. So with that out of the way, let's get right into the video and we'll pop the bonnet or the hood and we'll talk about some of the parts and some of the costs associated with building these cars. Okay guys, so we've got the engine bay opened up to have a look and talk about some of these parts required. So. Let's say you've just bought your Evo 10 or Rally Art. Now, one other thing I didn't mention is if you have a Rally Art, it's obviously not gonna make the same power as an Evo 10. Um, at the start, if you just upgrade to an Evo 10 Turbo, you can obviously, all these numbers will be the same. But if you have a Rally Art and you're keeping Rally Art Turbo, there is options for that where you can make similar power. Um, I will put a pinned comment down below in the description with more info on what you can do and the power figures for a rally up. But just to not make this video too long, we're gonna go over as if you have an Evo Turbo, whether it's in an Evo or a rally art and you've done the upgrade. So, bought the car stock. It's fun to hand, it's handling, it's very fun to drive, but you found it's pretty slow. That's exactly what I found out when I first bought this car. So the first, I'm not gonna try and call these stages, but I guess the first level of mods that I'm gonna talk about here it's going to get you around the 200 to 220 kilowatt range. It's going to be using pump fuel. Um, that is around the 270 to 300 wheel horsepower range. So what you're going to need to do that is a high flow panel filter. Hard for me to show you guys obviously because I don't have the factory airbox anymore. But keep that. It definitely is able to make some great power. You don't need to upgrade to intake straight away. But get yourself a high flow panel filter around the $89 range. Um, next thing I want to do is get some upper nickel piping. So you can see I've got this titanium one here. Um, but yeah, you can pick up any upper nickel piping. It is definitely going to make a difference, a little bit more responsive. Um, and get rid of that factory sort of meshy rubber look. That's going to set you back around about the $330. Now, I will mention a lot of these parts you can pick up used for cheaper. But I'm just talking about full retail pricing here. Just so I can link the products down below for everyone to look at. Uh, next thing you're going to want is a three-port solenoid. So you can see I've got the Cobb three-port, if you can see that down there. That's gonna help you sort of turn the boost up a little bit more when you get your tune um, and keep the boost a little bit more like tapered, a nice even line. So that's gonna set you back around $250. And next up, the other thing you'll want, if I come around to the back of the car, it's going to be a catback exhaust. So as you can see here, I have a single exit catback exhaust. Doesn't matter if you go dual exit or single exit, just get rid of that factory one. Um, it's gonna be a little bit better for you. It's gonna obviously make a lot more sound too, which is good. But so get that, let's say $1,000 for a new one, but there's always gonna be used ones popping up on the market that you can grab for around the $500. Um, also at that point, you're going to wanna upgrade your cat. So whether it's a high flow cat you wanna get or a test pipe, um, either way, that one is definitely going to be something you're going to want to do at this stage and will set you back around the $280 range. So once you have all those parts, you're going to want to get the car tuned. So I'm just going to give a blanket figure on tunes here and just call it $1,000. Now, obviously you get them far cheaper, you probably pay more, um, but calling it $1,000 just keeps it nice and even. So at that point, 
you've got your tune, you've got all these parts, the cost that you have spent using full retail figures that I've gone over is going to be about $2,900. The car's going to feel completely different, a lot faster, um, but you can do that a bit cheaper. So if you buy used parts and get a remote tune, you can probably knock $1,000 off that price, be down to about $1,900. So at that point, yeah, you've got yourself a pretty fun car, big upgrade from factory, but say you weren't happy there, you wanted to keep going, or you didn't even get the tune there, you wanted to keep going to the next point before even getting that tune, you want to keep building your parts and get to the next sort of level, try not to say stages, next level of modifications, which is around the 240 to 260 kilowatt range, which is 320 to 350 wheel horsepower. So at that point, you're just gonna to need to get some E85. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to get some injectors. Now I'm going to kind of future-proof what I'm talking about these parts here because we're gonna keep going up into different power figures. So yes, you can get some cheap sort of 1000cc injectors to run E85 on a stock turbo, which is what I did previously. But if you ever upgrade the turbo, you're going to then want to get something bigger. And it's just a waste of money buying and selling parts, losing money. So I'm just going to future proof. I'm going to say $1,000 for injectors. So I'll have the FIC 1200s, which is what I will link below. About $1,000, let's say. Um, you're also at that point going to need to upgrade your fuel pump. So I have the Warbro with a Cobb fuel pump holder. So those two, you're looking at about $358. And then you need to finish off your exhaust at that point because you're still going to have that factory downpipe or wide mouth dump, whatever you like to call it. So let's say around $500 for that. And then you have a full turbo back exhaust, injectors, fuel pump, um, your panel filter, your three port and your up intercooler piping. So if you did that all at once, got your tune, you're on E85, that's going to be about $4,800. And yeah, you're going to be making some really good power running on E85. If you say did that using used parts, say you wanted to stop there, you have some smaller injectors, um, you've got a remote tune, it could be as cheap as about $3,100, about $3,000 let's say. Um, but let's say you don't have E85 available. Unfortunately, at that point to make this sort of power, you're going to need to upgrade your turbo. So the factory turbo is just not going to make the figures that you want on pump fuel, unfortunately. So you will upgrade your turbo. Again, I'm going to future-proof this and we'll just say we get the turbo I have, which is an intense 5656RS, and we'll set you back around $3,700. That's full retail. You can obviously get sales, specials. Workshops will look after you with pricing if you're buying all these parts at once. But again, to keep it even, to calculate and have the links, $3,700 for that turbo, you'll easily make 250 kilowatts with that on pump fuel. Um, so that's gonna obviously add the $3,700. Then you're looking more like about $8,000, $8,500 at that point. Um, yeah, it's obviously a lot more money. If you can get E85, definitely the better option. But the other thing I will recommend there is you're gonna wanna get yourself some catch cans if you're on E85. So you can see I have the radium dual catch cans, um, but if you're on E85, catch cans are recommended. So a good idea to get onto those at that point. So moving on to the next level, we're gonna call them. At this point, you're gonna to need to upgrade the turbo, whether you're on E85 or not. Um, this one, you're gonna need E85 to make these figures using the turbo I'm talking about. But at this level, you'll make 280 to 300 kilowatts at the wheels, a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower, depending on how much boost you're running, um, all that sort of stuff. So that is going to be the 380 to 400 plus wheel horsepower range that everyone loves with the Evo 10 platform. So for that, you don't need too much more, but let's say you, from the start, you haven't done any tunes yet. You've just been buying all the parts listed. So you're gonna need all the previous parts. Then you'll need your turbo at $3,700. You're going to need a front mount intercooler. It's definitely recommended at that point. Um, so let's say $1,300. And at, while you have your turbo out, the factory exhaust manifolds are known to crack. So you want to upgrade, upgrade that to a tubular manifold. Um, this is what I'm using, but there is other options. But either way, an aftermarket um, exhaust manifold. And that's going to be around the $1,400 range. So you get all that. You get your tune, you're looking at around $11,000 for the full retail option. If you're using parts that are sort of used or cheaper, 
um, you've got a remote tune, you've got smaller injectors because you thought that's where I want to keep the car, I don't need more power after that, so 1000 cc injectors or something cheaper used will do. You could be at around about the five and a half thousand dollars, so pretty much half price um, if you shop around. But full retail, eleven thousand dollars to get to that point, which is about where I'm at. That's where I basically have my car sorted, and I'm absolutely loving it at that point. Um, also, at that point, I've already done it, but you are going to want to consider getting yourself new clutches for the SST or a new clutch for a manual because at that sort of power figure it's about where the factory stuff is going to want to start to die on you a little bit so be prepared to do clutches at that point i'm not going to talk about cost of other things like clutches and catch cans and things that you'll need i'm just talking about power here so then that's where i'm at now so what would be next so next thing is about where my car will i shouldn't say where my car will end the power figures but that's that's my goal so about 330 to 350 kilowatts, which is like the 440 to 470 wheel horsepower. Or if you have a manual, that's around the 500 horsepower range. And again, if you're in the US using it's like dyno jets and other high reading dynos compared to the Mustang and stuff that we have here, then you're well above the 550 plus horsepower range. Um, so that's where I wanna get my car to. So what is needed for that is you're gonna need everything obviously I've already discussed. Plus at this point, you'll wanna do your cams so cams and valve springs around $1,400. Uh, head studs around $370. At that point also an intake is required. I had that earlier on in my build, but an aftermarket intake um, definitely needed at that point around $600. And a fuel pressure regulator is definitely also recommended around $500. So then you will have that really nice horsepower figure, 350 kilowatts, 470 plus wheel horsepower to 500 plus. Um, and it's going to be about $14,000 full retail, drive in, drop your car off, everything done, um, thrown on your car and then tuned. Yeah, about $14,000. Now, again, just to try and help you guys out with some cheaper prices and ideas, um, about $9,000 if you're using parts that you found either used or on sale or um, you also got a remote tune and save some money. Yeah, you could do that for around $9,000. Um, so... Yeah, I tried to really cover different costs, different power figures, just give you guys an idea because I have gone for my car being bone stock through each one of those levels of modifying the car and now I'm looking at the next level which is obviously the cams and the valve springs and stuff. So I figured I get a lot of people asking me, I just bought an Evo 10, what should I do? How much I want to make this power, what parts should I get? Um, how much will it cost? So. The amount of questions I'm getting about that, I thought, hey, you know what, this would make for a pretty helpful video, considering I've gone through from stock to the level it's at now. Um, I thought maybe answer a bunch of questions at once in one video, and this should be something helpful out there for you guys. So hopefully you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Really appreciate that. It does really help the channel grow, shows YouTube that this, people like this video, it is helpful. We'll share it to more people, and maybe we'll continue getting the channel to grow. Um, also leave me a comment down below, let me know what power figures you're making with your car and what mods you've done. It's always interesting to hear what you guys have done to your cars, I absolutely love hearing from the community of subscribers that I've built up, really appreciate the engagement you guys give, so I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Um, and subscribe if you're not already and join the community of us who are modifying our Evo 10s and other cars as well, a lot of you guys who watch the channel don't just drive Evo 10s and rally art, so um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But with all that said, that is going to be it for today. So I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll catch you later.